Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Fire in the Hole video series. Except this isn't going to be Fire in the Hole. Well, kind of. This is going to be a very short video. Recently, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see that there are Google ads on these videos. And I just want to make a disclaimer. It was not my choice to put ads on this, on my videos. Google imposed that upon this, my YouTube channel. I guess they have the right to do it because they own the YouTube channel. But I've had this YouTube channel for 10 years and they, a couple years ago, they passed a rule that said you, you can uh, monetize your channel after you have uh, 10,000 subscribers. Well, I passed the 10,000 subscriber mark probably a year and a half ago. And I purposely, years ago, I purposely chose not to put ads, not to monetize this channel. Because A, the gospel should go out for free. And I'm not in it for the money. I don't care about the money. I don't do ministry for money. I have my own business, which I've been doing for, well, I started my business when I was 13. <laughs> that was like uh, 50 years, almost 50 years ago. But as an adult, I started my business 37, this, I'm in my 37th year. And I work my business five days a week. I rest on Shabbat. And I work my day business five to six days a week, full-time. I have helpers, I have employees. It's a family business. My wife is in this business. My son is in the business. And I have others that help me. That's how I make my living. And I purposely, years ago, decided not to monetize this channel because, A, I'm not in it for the money, and B, I don't know what ads they're going to put on there. They might put ads for things I don't agree with. And they're totally against the Bible, against the truth of Elohim. And I don't want the profane to be mixed with the holy. I don't want ads for erectile dysfunction, for the Mormon church, or for Islam, or from even false Christian religions, or drugs, or whatever. And you, you know, pick some or things I just don't believe in because you can't pick the ads. You, I, you really keep, don't have much choice what they put on there. And I, so I said, no, we're, we're not going to do it. That's, I don't care. This is, this is a holy, righteous channel with, with the word of Elohim. And I don't want anything to, to pollute, to defile the precious, the holy word the best that I know that I'm bringing out, bringing forth to you as Yah lays on my heart and gives me revelation. And as I am impressed by the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, to bring these messages. I just say this, the messages that I give, I'm not plagiarizing. I'm not stealing or taking from other people's ministries. Uh, whether it's books I read, videos I watch, uh, you know, whatever, things I hear. No. This manna, if we can call it that, I want it to be manna, that's hopefully nutritional, spiritually speaking, it comes, as Yah is my witness, it comes from my own study of the Bible for the last 50-some years, and it comes out of my own personal relationship with my with Yeshua, my Elohim. And as I endeavor by His grace, and I'm not walking on water, nobody's getting healed by my shadow, I'm just an ordinary person. But He's given me the gift to be able to speak, to study, to read, to write. These are all things I have been given. And so I have to use my talents. I don't want to bury them in the ground. 
and I have to use my talents. He's given me other abilities that have all come together, training, academic training, as well as just life experience and natural gifts to come together in a passion and a heart's desire and a love, a love for the brethren, a love for his sheep. I grew up on a sheep farm. I loved those sheep. I took care of the sheep. It was my job to shepherd the sheep for 15 years as, as a kid and growing up into adulthood. And I learned to love sheep and I love Yah's people. Yeah, they're kind of stinky sometimes. <laughs> I pastored for many years, so I know all about that. But I still love the people, and I want to share. I want to be a river of life to people. That's my passion in life, to be a blessing, a good father, a good husband, and to, to, to be a salt and light in this world and to serve the body of Yeshua. So in that capacity, adds adds from who knows where, put on my video uh, platform by uh, by somebody that I that does not have godly righteous standards, is not in line with, is not apropos to what we're doing here. But I have no choice in it. About a few months ago, Google imposed that upon video uh, upon YouTube channels unilaterally. And they let us know you have no choice in the matter. Period. End of discussion. That's why there are ads on this YouTube channel. Blessings to you. And we'll see you the next time. Shalom. And may Yeshua be glorified. May Yeshua be glorified in everything we do, say, and think. Despite the enemy's best efforts to... to uh, water down, to pollute, to profane the message. But thankfully, the word of Elohim goes forth. It has its own power. It has its own anointing. It has its own ability, its own supernatural ability, because it's the, these are the words of Elohim the, from what, what are in the Bible. And hopefully I'm speaking by his grace as the oracles of Elohim, which is the Bible says that we all should be doing. All right. Take care.